Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to get macOS Doc running on your computer. And it includes all the features that macOS Doc has. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started with this macOS Doc, you have to download these two files in the description below. To get started, extract my Doc Finder. Once you've extracted my doc file, you have to copy the file and then go and paste in your local disk memory. So I'm going to paste it here. Once you've pasted it here, open the backup file and then open the paste to doc folder and copy all the files. Once you've copied, open the doc finder folder you place in the local decks and paste it inside. Once you've pasted it inside, you have to run this my doc finder 64. Once you've run it, you are going to see there will be a dock at the bottom of your windows and with this thing at the top. So let me show you how you can set it up to get it working like a charm. You have to click on the dock and choose preference. Once you are in the preference, there is a whole lot of settings that you can change over here. With this, you can turn on or off the My Dock Finder, which is the one at the top here. So if I turn it off and I right click here and restart program, it's going to hack this top one and leave it with only this one. And I love to have it like this. So I'm going to my preference again and here I'm going to choose an auto which is going to switch between light and dark mode for me automatically. And when we scroll down here, there are a whole lot of settings that we can go with. But one I recommend you turn it on to is this auto start on boot. And what this does is that it always starts the my docs finder anytime you restart your computer. Once we are done with these settings, we are to go to general and here we can adjust the icon default size. We can also adjust the zoom size. We can adjust the distance between the icons. And we can also distance it from the edge of the windows. When we scroll down, when we are using multiple display, there is this section where you can switch it between the two displays. You can see here I have two monitors and one is showing here and the other one is here but I prefer it to be on this one. Now let's go to advanced and in the advanced there are a whole lot of settings here. But what I recommend is for you to restore the backup file I added in the files. So I'll click on manage and here you are going to see mark dark. Just click on it and click on OK and click on OK again. And now you can see the dark has changed to the backup file I created for you in the video. And here you can see a whole lot of apps over here. And when I click on launch part, I'm also going to see all my apps over here with ease. And let me show you the easiest way to add your own icons to this launch part. What you have to do is to right click on it and click on add icon and here what you have to do is to just drag the icon you want to add to your launch pad and click on yes once you are done when you click on the launch pad again you are going to see your icon will be part of the apps over here and let's go back to the preference again and let's see the other things we can do with it when you go to the minimize windows and here one settings I recommend you change is to click on this one and just change it to Geni. And what it does is that when I open any app and when I want to minimize it, it looks like this beautiful Mac OS minimization animation that comes with Mac OS and it's really nice. So guys, that's this for this video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave the bell icon on so that you don't miss any video I post in the upcoming days. I love you and peace out. Bye bye.